well, I'm almost a month late on this one, but this is probably the most outright, blatant, ridiculous lie I've seen in the media to the point where I just laughed. I can understand the brainwashing and mind control through psychological warfare, but this is like the media telling you the sky isn't blue all day, every day, and expecting you not to go outside and look up. Here's why snow turns black if you burn it. By Lizzie Rosenberg. Uh, who is this? Oh, what a lovely young lady. <laughs> Maybe if uh, she stuck those mitts up above Texas, she would have blocked that snowstorm. Uh, on a serious note, since you're based in New York, I would love to buy you dinner sometime, although I'm probably half a foot too short for your standards. A year in quarantine has created ample time for science experiments. Some of us have been making sourdough bread. Others have been creating homemade slime. And with the never-ending snow that's hit much of the U.S., a handful of us are burning snow. While one would probably think the snow simply melts, many have noticed that holding a lighter underneath a snowball sometimes turns the snow black. Okay. So they're claiming that snow turns black when you melt it because the butane from the lighter creates soot on the snow surface. But apparently, the lighters and snow in New York are different. In Texas, they say snow doesn't melt when you put a lighter to it. But here in New York, we actually have real snow. So when you put a lighter to the snow, it starts melting. I don't know what's in the air in Texas, what they're spraying, what's going on, uh, but it's safe to say that New York gets some real snow. This is so crazy and ridiculous that I can't believe I'm even making a video on it. I couldn't believe I was outside in my backyard filming that a couple weeks ago. How was there not some sort of revolt in Texas? You know, the fact that I physically went outside to show that snow melts when you put a lighter to it, you know, that there is no black soot is like me showing you the sky is blue. It shouldn't have to be explained. You know, this is a great example of what modern science is. Half truth, half lies to get us to think certain ways and do certain things. I wouldn't even say half truth actually. It's mostly lies at this point, but the population has been dumbed down enough to believe anything. And a lot of people were onto this. But the fact checkers, ooh, the fact checkers made sure to shut that down real quick. I mean, hey, those planes we see spraying trails in the sky every day are clearly just long-lasting condensation trails. Geoengineering is obviously something the government has only thought about. They would never do it. And the snow in Texas is definitely the same as the snow in New York. Those pictures and videos must have been photoshopped and edited. On top of that, what the hell ended up in the water supply that they had to issue a boil water notice? How much crap do they have to spray in the air to make the water table unsafe? Water used for brushing teeth, preparing and cooking food, including washing produce, feeding babies with formula, and giving water to pets needs to be boiled or come from water bottles. Let water boil for two minutes and allow it to cool before using. Unboiled water is safe for showering and bathing as long as it doesn't go into your mouth. But for children and babies, it may be safer to do a sponge bath with boiled water to ensure they don't accidentally swallow untreated water, according to the Texas Commission on Environmental Quality. Uh, yeah, I don't know about bathing or showering in water that isn't safe to drink. I'm sure most of you remember those environment and climate videos I talked about in the context of veganism, but before you know what <coughs> happened one year ago now, that was the main topic you couldn't really talk about. Climate change, global warming, environment. You know, it seems really suspicious. It was monitored so closely that they don't want any outside opinions on it, you know, going against the echo chamber, the modern media. You know, I've mentioned so many times that the climate, the environment is going to be used to control people just like they're controlling people now. You know, effectively, they've been able to lock people inside their homes, caged like rats, remove almost all of their freedoms without even passing any laws. 
You, know, you can go out and do whatever you want. And the police, no one can do anything. It's not against the law. It's just become accepted. You know, just staged events and control of the media, they did that. And this was something sudden, rapid, in a blitz-like fashion, although the programming has been there most of our lives. Now, the programming for climate change, which used to be called global warming, has been even more blatant and obvious You know, every week, every month, every year. For as long as I've been alive, they've been talking about it. You know, many car companies now are switching over to electric. There is obvious evidence of smart city infrastructure being set up. You know, who's to say they're not going to do the same thing, staged events, media blitz in the context of climate to get you to live in a box, you know, walk around, ride a bike around, remove every single one of your freedoms, not let you own anything. I always think it's crazy what they can get away with lying about, but, you know, once you understand that everyone's been in this hyper negative mindset and that removes any critical observance skills, it's pretty clear what's going on. Uh, so if you guys could please drop a like on the video, leave me a comment down below what you think, uh, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week. And above all, if you guys could please share uh, the video on social media. If you do want to learn more about me, my businesses, everything I'm involved with, everything's available on frank-stefano.com. Thanks again for joining me, guys. I'll see you for tomorrow's video. I didn't wear sweatpants today, at least. Thank you.